and this press conference when we will announce this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. We will keep to our tradition and start in Swedish and then continue the presentation in English. And you are, of course, welcome to ask questions. And my chedi, Vedi Yel to Raikon and Nobel Paris, Sweden, Talenegar, Stockholm, Il, Arivika Patulada, Edu Patria, and my chedi again, Nam that put the part of the control. My name is Hans. This year's prize is about an ingenious tool for building molecules. Kungliga vetenskapsakademin har idag på morgonen beslutat att utdela 2022 års Nobelpris i kemi i lika delar till Caroline Bertossi, Stanford University, California, USA, Morten Meldal. Köpenhamns universitet, Danmark, och till Barry Sharpless, Scripps Research, La Jolla, Kalifornien, USA. Det tilldelas priset för utveckling av klickkemi och bioortogonal kemi. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has this morning decided to award the 2022 Nobel Prize in Chemistry in equal shares to Carolyn Bertossi, Stanford University, California, USA, Morten Meldal, University of Copenhagen, Denmark, and to Barry Sharpless. Vedi Yel to Raikon and Nobel Paris, Moon Repairaka Pagarin Dalika Patuladu. They received the prize for the development of click chemistry and bioorthogonal chemistry. Professor Åkvist will now give us a short summary in English of the prize. Please, Johan. Thank you. Click chemistry is uh, almost, almost like it sounds. It's all about snapping molecules together. Imagine that you could attach small chemical buckles to different types of building blocks. Then you could link these buckles together and produce molecules of greater complexity and variation. This was the basic idea behind click chemistry that Barry Sharpless had about 20 years ago. The problem was to find good chemical buckles. They have to react with each other easily and specifically Morten Meldal and Barry Sharpless independently found the first perfect candidates that will easily snap together and importantly they won't snap with anything else. This click chemistry can now be used for building drug molecules, polymers, new materials and many other things. However, there are also other reasons for why one likes to snap molecules together. Imagine that you could attach a shining molecule to biomolecules in a living cell. Then you could follow them in a microscope and see where they are and how they move. This is what Caroline Bertosi did, but she had to find click reactions that were not toxic to the cells. She called this biorthogonal chemistry. Chemical reactions that don't interfere with the normal biochemistry of life. This now allows us to attach all kinds of molecules to biological ones, which can be very, very useful. Besides tracking biomolecules, it can also be used for diagnostics, for delivering drug molecules to their targets, and many other applications. 
So this year's laureates founded the fields of click chemistry and bioorthogonal chemistry. It has led to a revolution in how chemists think about linking molecules together and how to do it in living cells. Thank you. Uh, and I'll leave the word to Professor Olof Ramström, who will give a more detailed presentation of the prize. Please, Olof. Thank you so much, Hans. Thank you, Johan. So this year's award is, as Johan just mentioned here, is about making connections, making connections between molecules in a very straightforward, selective and robust way. This year's award is also about concepts and how concepts combined with very important discoveries really push the boundaries and make enormous impact of science and our society.